Hi everyone, Ariel Adams here with the blog to watch. I'm here at Bauma Muff C8, SIHH 2013 with designer Alexander Peraldi. Thanks for talking to us. Thank to you. So Alexander, show us um, some of the new Clifton models that, uh, that you designed. So I will start with the, the most uh, emblematic piece, the, the Clifton uh, 1830. It's directly inspired by a piece for our past, our museum. It's a gold model in 42 millimeter uh, with a wonderful mechanical manual movement from La Jupere. Now tell us about going through the archives and looking at some of the old designs. W you know, when was this design originally uh, established? Why did you choose this one? What else did you see? You know, how did you settle on this and where did it come from? We, we, we uh, often with the design team we go in this, uh, we have a room with uh, 1,000 pieces from the past, a huge collection, and uh, we try to find inspiration, some detail, and uh, for this project uh, we choose three models, uh, very interesting, between the uh, 40s and 60s, but at the end we choose the, the one, just one, from the uh, 50s, uh, this was uh, uh, this one. I can show you. It's a, it's a really, uh, for me, uh, interesting model. So this is the original model that the was the inspiration. Yes, I you see. Should, you should stay, see after in the, the showcase. And uh, we were very interested by the horns, by the shape of the uh, the case with this uh, uh, bevel and the, be the the bevel all along the case and the the bezel in the same way to obtain something very very small, very thin at the end. The, the integrated cone also, the chevet glass sapphire. Mm -hmm. for, for us, there is a lot of detail, very interesting. The numerals, the Arabic numerals, really readable, really modern. That's yeah, the part modern. that we don't change. We didn't change the, the numerals. It, it, there was for, for us perfect. And the, the first pieces was this one, for the, the emblematic piece in the top of our collection, the most exclusive. And after we declined this, uh, this model, so th this model is, um, how large is this model? It's 42 millimeters. This is 42 millimeters yeah. with the Le Jupere manually wound movement, and Absolutely. this is an 18 karat uh, rose gold case. Absolutely. Now let me ask you a question. This design, at the time from the 50s, what kind of person would, have this, would this watch have been for? Is this an entry level watch? Is this an executive? Who would have worn this type of watch? This one at this stage, or now? At this, in the 50s. <gasps> who would this watch have been for? I don't know. I think it was for the elegant people, elegant men. Uh, I think it was very exclusive as, as this year. Because it is a gold. It is a gold watch. It, is, it, it was, was okay. a gold watch. We it's have a, a lot of gold watch and a lot of steel watch. But I think it's the, the same as, as today. Today we have the gold watch for executive people, more you know, uh, with a uh, more uh, 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 good revenue, and uh, and for the the, the it's the entry uh, uh, luxury watch. You know, in Bois Mercier, we offer the, the opportunity to have affordable watch. And this is a nice watch. It's very thin. This is the thinnest in the collection, right? Absolutely. Yeah. That seems that seems to be the thinner because because we work a lot on the detail of the watch. We use the the, the opportunity to do something with this glass chevet, and it's very important for us. It's and quite nice. Yeah, and we try to do the same with the smaller one in the so here, collection. So here's a different one. This one's also in gold. Uh, this is the 39. Also the 39. Yeah. And um, this so one, this one looks the most. I mean, a little bit different on the dial, but has the central seconds, very much, yeah. very much like the the original from the 50s. But you change the hour uh, hours a little bit there. I changed the hour a little bit. I changed the, the ends a little bit. I changed the, the detail of one. So this one is a little bit less uh, 50s, a little bit more modern. Right. We try to keep the all this bevel all along to have this kind of line between a, a, a strap and case. It give a links all along the watch. For me, that's that make a, a difference regarding the competitors because there is a lot of round watch uh, in gold in the market. But this one is a little bit sim similar, but this little bit uh, different. This uh, originality and, uh, and this is an automatic. This is an automatic. This is automatic. So there's and a that's still very very thin for an automatic. Yeah, it is. It's 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 quite nice. Okay, so then there's so there's that, and there's also the same version. Um, with the with, more, silver, with a silver dial, classic, yes. So these are the these are the higher end ones, obviously in gold. And then there's a whole steel collection, which is going to be uh, most of the ones. Um, and and this one, uh, this is the only one that the other one, the gold, was the only one with the manually wound movement. Yeah. Everything else is an automatic. Yeah. So so tell us about the steel one a little bit. And so the steel one, it was uh, it was for the, the the entry price of the collection. It's important. We know that we we need to have this kind of piece, very elegant. But and what's what's the exact gold. name? The Clifton and what's the exact the name? Clifton. Just the Clifton. 
just the Clifton? Just Clifton. So all of these, we even are they're a little different? for the emblematic piece, Clifton 1830. Okay. A tribute to our history. But the, it's only the name, the same name for all the creation Clifton. But the Clifton in steel, Clifton in gold, and uh, Clifton with moon phase, Clifton automatic. And for this one, is, is to, to have something very simple, very uh, classic, elegant, and not in gold because it's a little bit too expensive. So affordable, and to have something timelessness. And I think the, the result is okay because you have uh, something uh, elegant and uh, refined at the same time. You know, you have this, uh, this you, you, we keep these little lines, polished line, and on the wrist it's very, very, really. And there's a version. Of, there's a version on a bracelet as well, yeah. Yeah. which is nice. It was important to have. It was difficult also because with the metal bracelet, sometimes that seems a little bit too sporty. We have to pay attention of the fluidity, of the comfort of this bracelet. Let I me ask you. Done. Let me ask you a question. So now, the the main men's line for Balmain Mercier is the Capeland, yeah. the Hampton, yeah. and now the Clifton. Yeah. How do you how do you differentiate these personalities? Why would somebody buy the Clifton versus the Capeland, for example? Well, the Capeland for me it's more for the sporty guy. It's more for the the watch for the weekend. You know, uh, perhaps to play sport or to not to play sport, but to have it when you play sport when you do a, I don't know when you ride a horse when you when you ride your bike, right? But I don't know. But it's uh, very comfortable. It's more sporty. It's a sporty touch of the collection. This one is more exclusive, more classic for the business guy, for the uh, I don't know the the. Do you this say is the your dress star, watch. The, the, the night, you know. The this dress is your watch. dress yes, watch. Yes, your dress watch. But you know, I, I would be happy if the if it's. I don't like to to give etiquette, you know. And if a guy <laughs> with a jean would like to wear it on the beach, I would be very happy. But. The target for the marketing uh, people, it was the... The, the, the formal watch. Yeah, the okay, formal that watch. makes sense. So tell us about the watch that you're wearing in the Clifton collection. So it's the same, a little bit more... So that's big. that's it's this bigger, one right yeah. here. It's the moon phase. This is the moon phase. So this the is an a annual meter. calendar moon phase. Absolutely. And uh, it was 43 meter because... Uh, 43. We, we 43. We, we should do in the 41, but at the end, we would like to, to, to give the place to the moon phase, to the calendar, to have something you know, uh, more uh, easy, more uh, uh, less less uh, crowdy. We, we need to have something uh, more elegant. So the 33 millimeter was the good size for that. We have something now, uh, um, how can I say, elegant, and uh, we in phase we in phase on the on the moon phase because it's the most important part. Why did you time. Why did you want these types of complications? You could have had a lot of different complications. Why an annual calendar moon phase? For me, the annual, the, there is two two complications here. The, the annual calendar. For me, it's a useful complication. We in Bois Mercier, yes, we try to yeah, do that. <laughs> Incredible. You, you don't feel the, the, the No, it's the it's comfortable. And uh, it's quite it's a well the designed annual case. The calendar, it's it's a complication very useful. It's a calendar. Yeah, for me, it's the, the, the most useful complication in the watchmaking. And what movement does this model have? It's a Dubois des Prins. Okay. Based on the Celita. Okay. And uh, and the moon phase, for me, perhaps it's not so useful, but it's a kind of poetic uh, complication. Uh, and, uh, you know, the moon phase, nobody takes care about the moon phase. But in reality, <laughs> everybody takes care. When you see the, the real moon phase, you, you, wow, yeah, it's a big moon. Then you have the big moon. Just, oh, yes, it's now the full moon. Oh, yeah. There is no importance for the people inside, yes, but and now you know, I know, you know, I can see here. There is soon the the, the, the full moon, and for me, I, I like it. Uh, it's funny. So you is know. this the watch you've been wearing for a while? Yeah. It's a little bit. Uh, I, I think because I, I'm a designer, I think I will wear it with jean, you know, during the weekend, and for the the, the suit, I will wear a cap. But to, to do uh, not in the, the so the where is this collection going to go next? How are you going to evolve the Clifton collection? <laughs> um, I know that because we have already uh, done a lot of work, yeah. but I can say, Russian. <laughs> <laughs> it's a secret, you know. No, no, but we are working a lot on the on this collection. We are, we are working a lot on many, on all collections, on Capone, on Linea, on Hampton. We have a lot of projects at the same time. Because we, in the design team, we, we continue to improve the design. We are not, we are never really satisfied because there is always something to, to, to improve and to do well. And uh, we continue. We have many, many ideas. Some of these ideas, are, I think they never will see the, 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 the launch because it's too crazy or too different or not in the target. But we have to do that because it's uh, very good for, for us. It's a kind of food. But uh, there is some of them with other complications. Uh, yeah, that could be, uh, I can say something. Good, good to know. <laughs> well, once again, we're here at SIHH 2013 with Bama Massier 
looking at the new Clifton collection. Mr. Peraldi, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you to you.